Good morning, everyone. It's Monday. <laughs> um, I just want to thank you guys for all your sweet comments on Sunday's video. I'm so sorry nothing got up. I have been down. Um, I am back up a little bit, kind of-ish. <laughs> I Oh my gosh, and I, sorry, elephant in the room. I've got the world's largest blemish right here on my face. That just like, oh my... Anyway, clearly not wearing makeup. Got new glasses, um, but I'm feeling better this morning. I um, am quarantining myself in my sewing room um, today. I have been in my bedroom since Thursday, and I'm ready to be out of my bedroom. So we'll see how today goes. I have three projects here um, cut out. When my family went to church yesterday, I snuck down to my cutting table and cut three projects out, and that like wiped me out for the rest of the day. Um, I'm not feeling bad. I'm just really, really tired. So that's good. Um, not nearly as congested and stuff as I was. So that's good. Um, but anyway, so I'm definitely on the mend. So thank you all for your kind comments. That's <laughs> very kind. Just trying to stay safe and, uh, keep everyone else healthy. So, um, I am in my sewing room, quarantined in my sewing room today and which everyone's gone. My husband went to the office today, um, and my kids are at school. So I have until they all come back. Um, I'm probably just going to stay in my sewing room anyway. Um, I mean, there's just really, <laughs> I have everything I need in here. Um, other than, oh yeah, I brought water down. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Other than I'll need some food at some point. But yes, I've got three projects here. But I did, earlier last week, I went to, um, before getting sick, I went to um, University of Sewing down in Bloomington because I got a new sewing machine. And I mentioned that in the video that went up on... Friday. So that was obviously pre-recorded because I was down on Friday. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was planning on filming a tutorial last week and that it just, I got sick and it didn't happen. So, um, I'll film that this week, get it up on Sunday and then, um, Ziggy will start the following week cause I'm going to need a good, kept meaning to like last week was going to be my week to, um, to make that up because I need a, a good, I just so much slower when I'm filming as I go. So anyway, we will do that next week. But I wanted to show you, I have been not good on any kind of, I'm not on a fabric buying ban because that would be ridiculous, but I bought, I bought more fabric because I went down to get this machine and I'm going to show it to you here in a second. Um, and I'll explain why I got a new machine as well. But, um, I, anyway, she's got fabric and she had some beautiful things. So I want to show you what I got as well. Um, just on a much, <laughs> much more, um, casual situation obviously no makeup I don't even I do have my studio lights on but they're just like in the room just to give me some light so I can work and then I thought I would just do like a vlog today and um, we'll see what I can get sewn up I have one thing that I can't really show you it's a pattern test for a pattern I love notions re-release which is a good one you guys are gonna be excited about it but the other two are my Parker Ponty pants um, and the black Ponty um, style art um, Parker Ponty pants and then also this deer and doe Sirocco jumpsuit so um, I'm really excited about sewing that one up and seeing like um, what's going on there so let's um, I'll show you my machine well, let's talk about the machine first so I got a um, my my friend Margaret we were in the same um, sewing professional sewing group for many years uh, she has become a Bernina dealer um, it was before the pandemic hit I mean, she was like a, like, I can't remember what it's called. There's terminology where she was like a satellite dealer, kind of. Um, she has an alteration shop down in Bloomington and was selling a little bit of fabric. And anyway, now she's like a full, full on Bernina dealer um, down there in Bloomington. And Bloomington's like, I don't know, an hour and 20 minutes away from me. So um, I was talking with her about wanting a um, machine that was smaller. You can kind of see a peek of her right there. Uh, I wanted a smaller machine just for number one traveling because at some point I have high hopes <laughs> in person sewing retreats can happen again. And I really want to teach some sewing retreats. So I just wanted a basic sewing machine that did a beautiful stitch, would do beautiful buttonholes because my um, industrial does not do buttonholes. Although all of you are giving me great suggestions on using my vintage machines for buttonholes, which I, I could totally do. I actually have my mom's singer buttonhole attachment. I don't know are they different like I it's from her like machine from the 70s but I do have it like would that work on my like singer 99 I don't know um let me know those of you that know <laughs> um I also have a 1961 singer that has been rehabbed that's in this I need to 
I need to rehome some of these sewing machines. But um, anyway, I just wanted something small that would do just some basic stitches, zigzag, because this machine that um, my wonderful Juki doesn't do zigzag um, either, which I don't, I, I just need it sometimes. And when you need it, you need it, because my cover stitch and my um, serger can do pretty much everything that I need. But just wanted something small that I could travel with, um, you know, but that was a good machine. So she had mentioned that she was selling off some of her um, classroom machines because they have to keep those obviously like uh, up to date. So she had a Bernina 330 that she thought might be exactly what I wanted. And she gave me a pretty good price because it was a it was used in the classroom. So it's a, I got a used machine, um, but again, just a classroom machine. And, um, yeah, so I went down there and got it. It's the cutest little thing. Very impressed with it. Um, I love how the buttonhole function works. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it only has, like, I don't know, 30 stitches on it or something, which is more than I will probably even use on it. So, um, yeah, so I'll show that to you here real quick. But then while I was down there, I did grab fabric because she had some really beautiful things. And, um, and she had some remnants that were, like, rolled up that I was grabbing for my daughter as well. So, I mean, not Everything I grabbed, with the exception of one thing, I did have pattern tests and some stuff that I needed, I wanted something specific for, um, and also um, like a collaboration with a new Timmy pattern company, which I'm excited to share with you guys um, when that comes to fruition. So let's take a look at the sewing machine. Okay, there she is. She's so much smaller than the Janome. And I, I was like looking at my line. Okay, I've got my vintage. This is my Singer 99 there. Um, that has been rehabbed. And um, now I have the Bernina. And then I have a Janome Cover Pro. And a Baby Lock Evolution. And a Juki Industrial. Oh, and there's a Gidget. Pass that on the floor. Um, I just think that it's funny. Like, I've got all of the... I don't have a faff. <laughs> but I've got pretty much everyone else here. Um... I don't have favorites, folks. I don't have favorites. Anyway, this is my new little machine. And I don't think, I think uh, Margaret said they no longer make the 330. Um, they have divided the 330 into two separate machines. They've got the 325 and the 335. Um, I don't know what the differences are between those, but this is just a very basic machine. It was not inexpensive. It was, I mean, I even buying it used, it was not inexpensive, but um, I think it's just going to work perfectly. So, again, I am going to sell my Janome Memory Craft 9700, um, hopefully locally. I need to get that uploaded onto, like, a marketplace or something. But, anyway, there she is. I'm very excited. Okay, let's talk about fabric. <laughs> okay, so two things, though, I bought online. So, I was, um, you guys know how I felt about the See You at Six French Terry. Absolutely love my Sloan's. Man, those are coming in handy while I've been sick. <laughs> Although I've still been dressing in capsule. I've been able to dress in capsule the whole time I was sick because it makes me feel better to like put on real clothes and not be in like pajamas, but still I wanted to be in comfortable like real clothes. Um, but yeah, I just, it was, someone commented that um, they hope that, what was it? They hope that, um, that the doing nothing or taking it easy or whatever wasn't too much of a hardship. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, yes, that that was the hardest thing. Like I was been exhausted and had been sleeping like a lot. It's like third trimester exhausted. Um, like third trimester pregnancy exhausted. It's been a long time since I felt that. But um I'm like, yeah, that's a good one of my friends, yeah, we were she, who's also sick. We we're talking about that. Anyway, um, but I it is really hard for me to sit and do nothing and to like allow my it's it's not good, folks. It's not good. But anyway, <laughs> that was the hardest part. But I wanted to show you. Okay, so June and Lou um, had gotten their, the, it's actually the winter See You at Six. See You at Six is a um, European um, pa or fabric designer, and there was just all sorts of issues, because I noticed that StyleMaker had a whole bunch of issues getting their uh, winter collection in as well. Um, but anyway, I, she had posted uh, pictures of some of the stuff that had come in. So I just went over to look, you know, just to look. And, um, I was obsessed with this print. So this is, um, and actually I decided not to get any more. I mean, I'm a big fan of the French Terry, but I wanted to try their rayon, um, their brown, I guess it was chalet. It's like a plain weave. I would call it a chalet, like a viscose rayon chalet. But this beautiful 
Isn't this gorgeous? So um, I'm pretty sure, I can't remember what the name of this color is, but she had put um, the th Guterman thread color that it would go with, and I looked at my color chart. I think this is a really dark navy. I mean, I'm still holding it up to things. Like when I hold it up to the black of this Ponte, I'm pretty sure it's a dark navy. Um, I got three yards of this, but look at this beautiful print with, I mean, it's like warmer, a little bit warmer colors. I love this so much. It's just beautiful. Like there's some of that teal in there and like the warm corally pink, some of that ochre color, my brown ochre color. Anyway, I just thought it was beautiful. So I bought three yards of that and this is all I paid for all of this myself. And then while I was over there, I was just looking at some of her other stock that she had because, you know, why not? And I think this is left over from last spring or last summer. And I bought the last two and a half yards that she had. But look at this one. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? I love this so much. I love that bright color, the bright yellow. I have a feeling yellow is going to be in my spring capsule um, and into summer probably, uh, no matter what the everyday capsule is. I think I'll have to get a bright yellow in there somehow because I'm just, I've been gravitating towards it. So I grabbed this one. I think that's actually upside down, isn't it? Um, and she, again, she only had two and a half yards of this. So I grabbed, um, I grabbed what she had left of that. So those are the two viscose. Um, this one's been washed. I washed this one. This one's not been washed yet because I was I needing to surge off the ends. And then also um, I was washing this with other lighter colored fabrics. And I've got some darker ones that I just need to finish washing. But um, anyway, those were the two that I bought from June and Lou. And um, I can say, you know, not all rayons are created equally. And this is a nice, um, it's not too thin. You know, sometimes rayons can get really thin. And this is not that way. So that's what I got. And it arrived while I was ill. Um, I also got some more um, yarn from Miss Babs, just one skein. I needed a solid color, too, because I didn't have enough of what I'm, the sweater I'm knitting currently. Um, anyway, my, they came on the same day, and my husband's like, are you seriously, are you just sitting in here <laughs> ordering things? I'm like, I ordered these things, like, before. Because um, we also, I don't know, Soma was having a huge sale on their, uh, like, holiday-patterned underwear, and I bought, I mean, like, $1.99 for pairs, and I bought my daughter and I, um, like a ridiculous number of underwear. We both needed brand new underwear and like different kinds. He doesn't get that. Like I need vanishing edge underwear for underneath, you know, like leggings and stuff like that. And she does too. And, but you also want some cotton underwear, you know, for those days where you just want to be more comfortable. And then you need like all these. Anyway, he was like, okay. It just unfortunate timing with how it arrived. Okay. And then... Oh my gosh, I bought more than I thought I did. So this is what I grabbed down at, um, in Bloomington. If you live anywhere close to Bloomington, Indiana, her little shop, she just has some really cool stuff, um, like some different stuff. And so, uh, yeah, like, you know, so and she also had, um, a couple of 30% off clearance racks. And so most of this came off that, but not all of <laughs> All right, so I grabbed This is Silk, and folks, it is beautiful. I think I ended up, it's very narrow, though. Look at the colors on this. I, it's so 80s slash early 90s. Um, I bought this, though, for a pattern that I'm going to be making up that I think it's just going to be really cool with. Um, it's just, it's very narrow. Uh, I think 40 inches is what we decided. So I think I got four or five yards of this. Cause I thought, you know, if I've got leftover, it's like a raw silk. So if I have leftover, it'd be really cool to line like the body of a jacket with this. I don't think it's not slippery enough for sleeves, but um, that would also be cool if I've got a little bit leftover. So I grabbed this beautiful one. Um, and I think it was on sale for like $9 a yard. And then I grabbed a couple of rayon batiks. Um, my daughter and I, we have a little bit of crossover in our colors, just a little bit. And it's really more in like my lighter purples and her, um, cause her pinks are a little sweeter than mine, but these are both rayon batiks and these were also on sale for $9 a yard. And I thought that these would just make great summer dresses and I love the prints. So this has like the orange dot in there. 
Um, the colors are a little more muted, so I don't know. My daughter and I may arm wrestle over this one. I think she could probably pull this off, but I, I don't know. These are also, there's probably, these are warmer colors um, in the pinks and purples. And then I grabbed this one. Look at that tie-dye effect. There was, um, I watched the fold line, uh, Kate from the fold line, and she had done a video on, oh, the new Sex in the City movie, um, TV show. I don't, I, I didn't watch Sex in the City, and I'm not watching this one either, but she was pinpointing some outfits, and there was a picture of Sarah Jessica Parker, or Carrie, on the show, wearing like this um, dress. It was like uh, tie-dyed kind of, and it was in blues, and then kind of some ochres. Anyway, this reminded me of that, and I thought, oh my gosh, that'd be a really fun, summery, like loose-fitting dress. And I bought quite a few of those Pattern Emporium um, woven patterns over Christmas that I showed you all. So, again, those were on sale, so that was, like, really good price. Um, okay, I bought this for my daughter. These are all her colors, these, like, muted colors. Look at this. It's a cotton lawn. That's upside down. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that beautiful? I, um, I also, I did do this while I was not feeling well. I was shopping the sale that, um, something delightful was just having. Um, I think it was $4.99 patterns and then $6.99 for Vogue patterns. Cause there were a couple that I wanted to grab, uh, for my daughter mostly, but also, um, a couple for me. Cause then I was also watching Lindsay from inside the hemp. This is what I've been doing folks. Cause I, I've just been sitting and knitting and I don't have a TV in my bedroom. So I've been watching my, I, my, um, laptop. Um, but she was doing the Vogue, um, like first impressions video. And there were three that I loved and grabbed. So anyway, but this is for my daughter. It's going to be a, uh, fitted. I don't know if it'll be a collared shirt or not. I did end up buying her in the Minerva sale. <laughs> I've got, my husband is going to take away my credit card. Um, in the Minerva sale, they had a 30% off sale on Saturday. It was one day only if you are a craft club. Well, I'm sorry, 20% off sale. Um, I get a extra 10% just cause I'm a brand ambassador, but I paid for everything with my own money. You know, people are always asking like, Oh, you get free stuff. I really don't get free fabric that often. <laughs> it's all with my own money, but, um, I bought her the Liberty Thea blouse, which I know is a reprint of a Vogue pattern. I think. I can't remember McCall's. I can't remember. I know that like there was a lot of uproar about that, but that pattern that Vogue or McCall's pattern, whatever is now no longer in print. And it was going to be for me to buy it off Etsy as expensive as for me just to buy the Liberty one. And I was getting 30% off. So, um, I just grabbed it from there. So that'll be coming soon. I also grabbed the Adrian blouse because, or the Adrian, is it called the Adrian blouse? That knit top with the really big sleeves. Most looks, I think she'll love it, but I think I might make one for myself, but this is going to be a fitted shirt with big sleeves for her. So, okay. And then everything else is remnants. And then I grabbed this, this, this one is the one that I had no plan for whatsoever, but it was on a roll and I couldn't even see the beautifulness of this. I would call this a, um, is there silk in this? No, I can't remember. It's a voile. Like, it's a very thin. I'm going to have to line it with maybe some cotton lawn. But look, it's a border print. I bought two panels. Uh, isn't that so cool? And I'm thinking... And there's the start of the other panel. I'm thinking of doing, um, like, a shift style dress. Something just loose. Um, and obviously lining it because it's very see-through. But lining it with like a white cotton lawn, I think would be perfect. But I don't know, like maybe my Easter dress. Easter's kind of later this year. I might be able to get away with it, put a little jacket on it if I wanted to. But these are so many of my colors. Like even like the warm pink and this blue and this like red orange color. Yeah, you can like totally see my clothes through it. So it'll have to be lined. But I just thought I could play around with that border print. And I may turn it upside down. Instead of putting this at the hem, maybe I'll put that at the neck and go that way. Anyway. I, I could only see like this part of the pattern when it was like rolled up and, um, I went over there and kind of pulled a little bit out and I was like, oh my gosh, Margaret, you're not showing this to the best of its advantage. <laughs> I will link, I will link this one down below because this one was a regular priced fabric and, um, I will link 
the one I just showed you for my daughter because it was also a regular price fabric. Now, another reason I was shopping was because, what am I doing here? Um, when you buy a machine, she gives you um, a percentage off of everything else you want to buy, which is probably more for, you know, like if there's any other accessories you want to get for your machine, you know, I did buy a, a straight stitch throat, um, throat plate for that machine. I just find those handy, but, um, I, I use my percentage off mostly for, um, some fabric. I mean, I only got it off the regular price stuff. The stuff that was on sale was just the price that it was. So that was nice. Okay. So that one, and then my daughters were the ones that were, were not on sale. And then I got some remnants, which are what's taking up the bulk of this bag. So I got this pink one. I think this is a stoff knit. It's just a cotton jersey for my daughter. Um, this stoff knit is so lovely. I had bought some remnants from Margaret back um, and made my, my niece some clothes out of it um, with matching doll clothes for Christmas or for her birthday. For her birthday. And anyway, I'm very impressed. It's just a very good knit. So I got that. It's like an irregular pink stripe. So that's for my daughter because we're going to be doing some t-shirts and that sort of thing for her. She's really been putting in the orders here recently, folks. And then I got this navy floral. This is actually more for a pattern test I'm currently working on um, for myself. So I got that one. And I think this is also, yep, this is also stuff. And I have like two point two yards and um, two and an eighth yards like of this. I don't know what I have. I'll have to check that. Um, and the remnants obviously are all on pretty deep discount. I grabbed this lovely like iCat um, woven cotton fabric. Oh, the tag fell off this one. Um, for shorts. And I she had a whole bunch of rolls of these. And I grabbed the one that I thought might be the best yardage. I mean, I don't need a ton for shorts, but I grabbed because I love those colors. It's like all my warmer colors. Um, and I thought it'd be such a cute pair of shorts in the summer. It's like, um, it may just be cotton, but there might be some linen in there. Like a real coarse weave. Um, but I loved that print, but that'd be great shorts. And I also grabbed this one, which is a denim yarn dyed. There's two yards of this. It's a Robert Kaufman. Um, I just saw it, a button-up shirt. I mean, there's just so many. Like, this is just such a great staple fabric for the stash. So I really don't have an idea for this. So I just, you know, it's, <laughs> I have a feeling Navy's going to stay as my neutral probably for the rest of the year. And, um, yeah. And then I grabbed this one only because it was gorgeous and it's silk. And the tag fell off that, too. But what a beautiful lining that will make. It is a silk twill. And I can't remember how much I have of this. I think enough to do, I think this would be slippery enough for sleeves too. But I just love those colors. And again, it was a remnant and a good price. So I grabbed that for lining because it is silk. And that's everything. So I would say I'm on a fabric, you know, like, woo, cool the jets. But um, next month I, I will get my birthday Oh, next month. You guys are watching this on February 1st. This month, I get my um, Style Maker birthday discount code. <laughs> if you're part of her newsletter, she sends a 20% off for your birthday month. I will wait until the end of February because I want to get as close to spring capsule as possible um, in case there's any, like, um, you know, like, I, I'm thinking probably I would just be buying, like, standard things, you know, like a solid colored shirting or... Um, and, you know, I don't know. I don't know what pieces I'll be making like a tinsel twill or something like that. You know, like more basics is what I'm trying to say. My brain is going out cause I've got, I'm pretty covered with patterns. I've got a lot of pretty patterns that I think I'm probably good with now, but yeah, I'm going to save that 20% off. I think for the end of the month and, um, use that for, I mean, I won't have the spring capsule yet, but I will usually she's teased colors by then. So I can kind of take a look at what I've got in those colors and kind of somewhat, you know, I feel like I've done it enough that I can figure out, okay, in the neutrals, these are the neutrals I'm going to use. You know, here's my coordinating colors. Like what do I have in my stash and that kind of stuff and bottom weights and dress weights and all that. Um, go from there. So anyway, maybe some denim. I think I'm ready to make myself some 
jeans again. I don't know. We'll see. All right. <laughs> I'm going to quit jabbing at you and um, get to sewing. And I'll show you. Oh, here. I'll show you my piles real quick. Okay. So here are my Parker Ponty pants right here. My Sirocco in this fabric. And then that's the mystery. Um, you guys have seen that fabric, though. The mystery um, pattern that I'm going to do. I'll do that one first. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get working on these and I can show you these two, um, what kind of, I'm just going to see how tired I get, but if I get enough done, I can show you stuff. I will show you, but I'm going to work on that first and I can't show you that yet. Okay. These are really hard to see because they're black, <laughs> but these are my Parker Ponty pants. They've got like a cuff. Can you see that? God, black is, yeah, there's kind of see the cuff. Um, I could probably have gone a little bit. I shortened these by an inch before I cut them out. I could probably gone maybe a little bit shorter, but this has rayon in it. And I just, I mean, I probably won't dry it a lot, but the chances of them never getting dried are probably slim to none. So I bet they shrink up a little bit more in the um, length. I put in the um, power mesh panel just in the front like I did with my Quebec skirt. I really like these. I might be able to show you the back, I don't think, because I can't figure out how to twist my arms, but obviously I'll show you guys, um, in a video, but I'm, yeah, these are really cute. There's like a really cute pocket detail. Again, you're not going to see any of these details because they're black. Um, but yeah, they fit really well. I let out the inseam on the pattern. I let it out just like a quarter of an inch to accommodate my, I just get, I'm full like right here in my upper thigh. Um, and I think that worked really well. These are the size 12. Yeah. I'm really pleased with how these turned out. Um, let me try on my Sirocco and show you that here in just a second. Okay. Excuse the socks. <laughs> I love this so much. I mean, I kind of was getting nervous that, um, doing this in a cotton Jersey was going to be a mistake, but, um, I think it's fine. I think it really, really works. I think it's going to be cute. I, I also left these sitting like right at the top of my foot as well because I'm just anticipating that those may shrink up. I mean, again, this will probably get thrown in the dryer at some point and then those legs will shrink up just a little bit, but that'll be good because um, I'll, you know, want like a little ankle maybe showing. So comfortable. This is so cute. I will totally make the um, short version, I think, maybe, maybe with one of my striped French cherries for summer. I don't know. Um, but yeah, isn't this adorable? I may put my clear snap in here. I do that for a lot of my wrap tops just because things tend to whew, just help keep that peekaboo effect. Now, um, I made the size 42 in this and I added an inch of length to the front only and then stretched the back to fit that extra inch just kind of as a somewhat of a full bust adjustment. She does draft, I think for a C cup. So I wasn't as worried. I just wanted to make sure I had the length for things to go over my bust so that this wasn't like <laughs> up like so, you know. So I'm glad I added that I needed that extra inch and I think everything works out fine. I graded out to a 46 at the waist. I don't know that I needed to do that. I probably would have been fine. Everything stretches and then back down to a 42 at the hip and um, yeah, I think it works really, really well. This is so cute. So this is my new Sirocco. So happy with this. Okay, I'll turn you around and talk to you. Okay, so I've had a very productive day today and I'll, I've got my lights on, so I have better reflection. <coughs> it's me. Um, feeling great. Um, okay, so it's three, a little after three now. Um, I have about an hour and a half until the first of the family members get back. Um, I'm really tired now. <laughs> Uh, and I knew I would be, but I did. I got my test done. I got the Sirocco done and the Parker Ponty pants. So I think the only thing left for my winter capsule that I wanted to get done is just that Concord with, um, and that was like an iffy one, but I think I am going to do it because that's the tutorial. I'm going to show you how I drafted the um, boat neckline for the um, Concord. I thought I'd already done that, but maybe I've done that. I I can't find it on the channel. I'm telling you what. So I'm just going to go ahead and film that process as in doing that neckline. Um, that shouldn't take very long. And then that's it. Um, this is my other new Concord that I made that I got like blue. I think it's from my cardigan I had on earlier. I was like, are you kidding me? And I've also got like fluff all over it. Um, it's a little see-through. It doesn't really look the see-through in real life, but um, I love this pattern so much. It's such a great t-shirt. So, um, 
yeah, it just felt really good. I have not been in my sewing room since like a week. It's been like a week because I went to Bloomington early last week. Yeah, I think last Monday I was down here finishing up some stuff. And that's been it, which is great. Maybe before then, it may have been last weekend. Anyway, it's been a long time. And I, while I've been doing a lot of knitting up in my room, I've really missed my sewing machines. And I even got to use the new one. There she is right there. Whoop, whoop. Um, to do, I um, did a three-step zigzag stitch for my elastic into my waistband for the Parker Ponty pants. Um, I like stitched that down and then <clears throat> folded it over. So then it was like a elastic covered or a fabric covered elastic basically to then put it into the pants, which I, it was in the instructions, but that's also my preferred way of doing pants like that. So um, yeah, so that was fun. Had a few issues trying to get the bobbin to work correctly, but I figured it out and it, like always user error, as long as you put those bobbins in correctly and thread those machines right, they work like a dream. You just <laughs> not be arrogant and remember what um, you were taught when you bought the machine. You know, like, I don't know how my sewing machine works. Um, anyway, it didn't take me very long to figure it out. And now we're good. So um, yes, life is good. Love that new machine. It's it, so quiet. I mean, it's just everything. I've, I've been very impressed with the little bit that I've used of it. Um, and I'm very excited about the buttonholes it's going to do. And I have so many, my daughter has put in so many requests for different button up style shirts. So <laughs> and dresses. So I have a feeling we're going to be making a lot of buttonholes here soon. So that's good. Um, I think that's all I've got for today. I'm going to go up and edit this, get it uploaded for tomorrow. Um, Friday, because I've just been sitting in my room, I have pulled some winter outfits, which I realized were, as I'm going, was going through websites, like everyone's starting to bring their summer outs or spring stuff out. So this is going to be like late winter, early spring kind of type patterns with looks. Um, I mean, we still have a lot of winter here left in Indiana, so I don't feel too bad. Um, but yes, I'm going to be doing 10 ready to wear looks and then patterns and fabrics to recreate them. And I'm going to be using patterns from all sorts of places. So um, yeah, so that's, uh, I'll be coming up on Friday. Um, and then I've got, there's a pattern release on Thursday. I think, I think it's Thursday, sometime this week, there's a pattern release coming out. <coughs> so, um, yes, so that'll be an extra bonus video this week. I had already pre-recorded that, um, when I did the pattern test, thank goodness. So <laughs> to, I'm hoping I look a little bit more alive by the time I film a Friday's video, which will probably be on Thursday. So anyway, that is all I've got for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this little, very casual, impromptu vlog. And, um, yes. We'll see you all on, I think it's Thursday, for a quick pattern release, and then again on Friday. I hope you have a good one. Hope you're getting some sewing in. Apparently, there's a big snowstorm coming. Um, so if you're in the eye of that, we are. Um, I, I hope you get some sewing in and nothing too major. All right, that's all I've got. I'll see you guys later. Bye.